United Airlines went through a terrible financial time after 9-11. The passenger count dropped drastically. They had serious financial losses and went into bankruptcy. In bankruptcy, they were able to reduce the salaries of many people in the company as much as 50%. They were able to reduce pensions. They were able to reduce many costs, which were vital because if they didn't reduce those costs, they would have higher costs than their competitors. Their ticket prices would be higher and nobody would fly United Airlines. So they made the very difficult, difficult decisions and took the actions to get the company's costs in order. Just one problem. Their customers hate them. They have a pilot, Danny Flanagan, who is a beacon of service excellence before every flight. And every flight has a different crew. He meets with the crew and he gives them his vision of what the experience on that flight should be like for the passengers. So the question in the case is, can United Airlines leverage Captain Danny's incredible service, attitude, and expertise and become not just a very well-operated airline, but a well-operated airline that customers like. Many people would say that one person can make a difference. To me, the only one person that can make a major impact on the way a company operates, the way a company focuses on customers, is the CEO. Captain Danny, He's been doing what he's doing for many years. And many people think it's great. Many pilots think it's great. But the system doesn't encourage them to do the things that Captain Danny does. And unless the system changes, nothing changes. I see operating strategy as one of the big problems in business because it's easy to come up with a great strategy for the company. It's not, it's not easy, but it's, it's not so hard as running the operation every day. Uh, marketing strategy, well, this is who we want to serve. It's operations that makes it happen. And the, the thinking in companies typically if it's not a manufacturing company, they don't focus on operating strategy as much as they should, especially service companies like United Airlines. And if management suddenly wants to play the game a different way, there are everything has to change. Everything must be looked at with, well, how do we change this to be in alignment with the new vision. And in many cases, the change is too great and the organization can't do it. And this is very, very difficult because the implication is that new competitors who are designed to play the game a different way, maybe you can't be who they are. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try, and that doesn't mean that you can't be successful. What it does mean is that it is a tremendous leadership challenge.